Hey, yo, what's up? Uh, welcome. Oh, shit, hang on. Hey, what's up? Welcome to today's video. So last week, Beta FPV hit me up, and they were like, do you want this Meteor 85 to do a review on? And I was like, that's yeah, pretty cool. I like some free shit. So I said yes. So today's video, I'm going to review this for a little bit, just to fill my obligations, and then we're going to go fly somewhere. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't a very good intro, was it? Here's what we're going to do. Okay, I'm going to do a, a typical FPV YouTuber intro. Yo, what's up, Bot Gang? It's your boy, Bot Grinder. I'm here today. This is the greatest drone. This is the greatest drone of 2023. This is the one that you should buy. Fuck every other drone out there. Fuck every other drone out there. This is the drone that you should be buying. This Meteor 85. Welcome to today's video. I'm going to convince you why you should buy this drone because it's the best one. Fuck the last one. The last three drones that I said were the best drones you should buy. I was fucking lying to you for money. This right here, though, this is the best drone that you should buy right here. Affiliate link below. Boom. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, excuse me, pardon this. This is just my uh, Falcon Scout with HD0 and diversity that I'm building. If you're into long range or HD0, I'm building a long range HD0 Falcon Scout. Shout out Falcon Rad, so subscribe. Hey, look at this, this is like the new packaging that they have for their shit. Let's unbox this thing. This right here, Beta, oops, the Beta FPV 85. Now my first impression, I'll tell you right now, when I opened this the first time, I was like, oh, this is like some different material. Like it feels way more plasticky, way more like robust plastic versus their other frames that are kind of like thin plastic. Like it's thicker, but it also, it just seems nicer. It seems, I'm going to say, it seems more like a toy, like a high-end vinyl toy or some shit over just straight up plastic, but in a good way. Like this, I do like this beta FPV. I like this new design, whatever plastic shit you're using. This is great. Uh, I f oh, fuck, I forgot to look up, hang on, I gotta get my, god fucking damn it, I gotta get my phone, ow, I gotta, I'm, hang on, basically I'm gonna have to watch Nick Burns' review of this to see what the fucking stats are on this, fuck dog, I went to look it up, this doesn't, this, this one in the photo doesn't really look like this one, this one looks different, god damn it, alright, this is a fuck, it's a 2S, uh, it's got a flight controller, it has four motors, a 2S battery, and this one's ELRS analog, and it has an XT30. Yeah, but good enough. Inside of the box, it also comes with some things. You get um, this piece of paper. You get this thing that tells you beta FPV and has some things on it. This bag has some extra propellers for the drone. This had, I think this had the battery in it. Where is that? Speaking of that, this is the battery. It's a 2S beta FPV battery. It's it's a battery. I'm pretty sure this bag had something important in it, but it doesn't have anything in it anymore. The bottom of the box looks like it's a, it's a black box with like black foam in it. It comes with these blue things uh, for something. Ah, here it is. It fell out of the bag. Okay, this is very this is very important with this drone. This is actually a real thing. You see this? The flight controller doesn't have a USB. It has the other end of this. So you put this into the flight controller, and then that's how you put your um, it looks like USB C. Yeah, your USB C into your computer, and that's how you program shit. So if you lose this, like I just did, you're fucked, bro. So don't fucking lose this thing. I mean, I guess you can make a little like four pin connector, but who has the time to do that when we're all trying to fucking do dabs? You know what I'm saying? So that's everything it comes with. This is the drone analog ELRS. I'm gonna um. Take it to the field now, and we'll let you know how it flies. Biscuit, I'm gonna go fly my drone now. All right, Biscuit, you just keep taking a nap. I'll be right back. Hey, yo, look at that! And through the magic of um, Adobe Premiere that I paid too much for, here I am in Delaware. You want to get down on this dance ground? Holy fucking shit! All right, good. It's fucking windy as shit out here. This is perfect. Uh, it's time to test out the Beta 85 from Beta FPV. Can this thing, it's a 2S little ripper, can it handle the wind? That's what we're trying to find out today. Hit that button. Hit that button. Things are recording. Don't knock over my tripod. Let's go. Let's go. So I got, I, I uh, what am I doing? I did test this out just in front of my house real quick for like a second. But this is my first real flight of it. I wouldn't like trip on that video because I don't know if these antennas are the best or whatever. Like it does a roll. That's pretty sick. How does this thing fly? Let's see. Oh, this kind of... 2S is cool. 2S is cool. It kind of rips. And this quad kind of rips, bro. Oh, this is nice. I'm not going to do like nothing gnarly, no freestyle. Let's try to do a juicy flick at least though. Okay, that was a weird... Is air mode not on? Huh, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. All right. I don't know why I couldn't juicy flick. I'm in acro. Whatever. Can it power loop? I guess that's an important question. Can this little guy do a power loop? Can it freestyle? Am I going to hit that tree? Probably. Oh, it looks like it can totally power loop. 
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna say that this uh, this does rip a little bit. I'm not sure how much it costs. This is the analog one. If it's like 150 bucks or under, I would say I would say go ahead and purchase this if you are interested in bigger whoops. They can be really fun because they do kind of fucking rip like that. Oh, oh, you can do your little maneuvers and stuff. This has pretty good uh, like flight authority, flight characteristics. It, it's snappy. It's snappy. You know what I mean? Look at that. It's snappy, dude. That's cool. That is cool. I like that. All right, cool. So flight number one, my very first, well, I guess I flew it above my house and it was like, whatever. Uh, the wind is definitely affecting it. So if you live in like a gymnasium or something, this might be good for you. If you have a lot of open space or you're rich and have a giant house. Even outside though, and this is some pretty moderate wind, this thing's doing, uh, this thing's doing pretty well. But, but I know this is what you came to see. I know everybody here, you want to see the test that you came to see. So let's go ahead and land and let's find out. Can it carry a hot dog? I don't know. All right, so that went well. It flew great. Izzy, great job flying with the hot dog strapped to the drone. I have two hot dogs left. I don't want to eat them, so let's do some fun shit with hot dogs. Did you expect this out of today's video? Maybe by the thumbnail, huh? Never mind. Now the funeral is over, and all the tears are trod up. Niggas hanging teeth on the cut, getting fired up. Looking for the nigga who pulled his pistol on my homie. And I'm for an eye, so now your life is what you owe me. Look deep into the eyes of your motherfucking killer. I want you to witness your motherfucking murder, nigga. And since you wants to kill, then your ass has got to fry. But ain't no police, therefore your ass has got to die. We play the game for keeps and The GoPro has beans all over <laughs> The fucking GoPro. <laughs> the fucking GoPro has... Hot dog. All right, cool. That's all taken care of. Uh, Beta FPV 85. I don't know. Check it out if you want to check it out. I read if you're newer to FPV and you want to step up from like a tiny whoop, I would recommend that shit. Also, we found out what happens when you put hot dogs in propellers. I've always wondered. You don't know. Yeah, don't know till you try. My advice to you kids, try every drug. Try No, actually, <laughs> try things that won't harm you or other people because, you know, life's short. Fuck it. But now, but now, I want to freestyle. I don't know why I'm getting close. But now I'm going to freestyle. I got my HDZR quads. There's a big old rail over here. I don't have my grind plates on. I'm going to try to grind without the grind plates just because I'm too lazy to put it on and do some uh, aerobatic maneuvers for y'all. So I hope you um, enjoy this. at the house uh, you may notice this isn't my usual outro this is actually just my little office room or whatever the second bedroom in my house where I have my computer where I live stream and I'm recording the outro here because I can fucking sit down here sort of I look fat
So to reiterate that little beta 85 qual that I flew, the 2S, it flies good. It does feel really good. If you're new, like if you're just, a, you know, I'm sure if you've flown for a few years, then you know what's up with little whoops and shit. But if you're new to the hobby, every now and then there's little whoops like this that come along that rip. And they've made a few 85 versions in the past, but this one feels really good. I like the way the plastic feels on it. Like I said, it feels like a good quality. I don't know if that equals durability or not. I haven't really crashed it at all. This is like the second pack I flew on it. For 109 bucks for a little analog quad. Yeah, I'd say pick this shit up if you're interested in it. You know what I mean? There's a few quads in this price range or whatever and i don't think you could do you know much worse than this one or wait is that you say i'm trying to i'm trying to say this is a half decent little hundred dollar for the price it's a great little quad i think speaking of great deals if you don't know my main source of income is my patreon that's what i hustle it's like 95 percent of my well actually not i have frames it it's like 90 percent of my income so if you want if you like this channel and you want to support it you can do that if not tell me to fuck off i don't care but i give my patrons lots of stuff like stickers every month shout outs and videos and all kinds of ill ass shit so today i'm going to shout out my top top tier patrons this is the say my name tier so if you want to subscribe to this and get your name right on the screen be my guest hey thanks a whole lot Billy Hackett, Boris the German, Fly Tribe Magazine, new patron, Fred805, J Rod FPV, Marcella FPV, Patty Cakes FPV, Rick James, Stompy FPV, Tactical Drones, Trent, TT FPV, Tuan Solo, Volleytronics, WOM FPV, and Wolf FPV. Thank you very much for being my top, top tier patrons. I super appreciate it. I appreciate all of my patrons. Like I said, this is pretty much my main shtick is asking for Patreon money, so I appreciate it, homies. I'm gonna get out of here and go practice some more grinding on some rails and shit. I don't know if the grind plates are gonna work out. I know Mr. Steel makes it seem pretty effortlessly, but he's just a damn good pilot. What the fuck? So I don't know, but I am pretty determined to like get real consistent on grinds. One thing I learned is you gotta go a lot fucking faster than I was going, so be prepared for that in future videos as well as the long range shit that I'm gonna be doing. Subscribe if you haven't done that. That'd be cool if you don't want to. Again, it's your fucking life. I don't give a shit. I don't even know you. You're basically just a fucking number to me. And oh, I love each and every one of you so dearly. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching all of my videos, for being subscribers, and all that. I promise next time we'll be better. Play it. Thank you, Grant.